Joined now on the red carpet by 2014 Hockey Hall of Fame inductee Mike Medano. Mike, we appreciate you stepping by. Uh, clearly, out of all your career highlights, one of them was very closely related to Ken Hitchcock winning the cup in 1999. What were your memories of playing under him? Oh, some special times, you know, some fond memories. I've, I've, I've told them since we retired and since we stopped playing that, uh, you know, those were some of the funnest times I've ever had. We had a great group of guys, some characters, some personalities that, you know, quite frankly, were some of the funnest guys I think I've ever been around with. Mike Keene, Brian Scrooland, Guy, Brett Hall, of course, Belfour. I mean, we just had some a cast characters. of characters, and, and Hitch was the, the ringleader of those guys. So, but we had a we had a phenomenal team, and you know, we knew at training camp in Vail that year that we we're going to have something special. And you know, he brought it all together with Bob Gainey and Doug Jarvis and those guys. It was uh, quite a thrill. Yeah, and listen, Ken Hitchcock's you know attempt to turn Brett Hall into a two-way player well chronicled, and I think yeah. looking back, pretty entertaining, but. All kidding aside, you were an offensive superstar. Um, you know, he had a vision for how it was going to be for you guys to take that step, right? And how is it, you know, he's doing a sales job and a lot of special players mm -hmm. on that team. What's a critical point do you remember where it's like, okay, we got the buy in here? Well, I think it was the, he came in probably, I think, halfway through that, that first year when, when Bob stepped down. We just got through the season. He called me out of the blue in June. I'm sitting at home and uh, he's like, hey, what, what, kind of player you want to be this year I was like I, I don't know what, what do you have in mind he goes well come come in tomorrow we're going to discuss things and we're going to figure out what the game plan is moving forward this is how I want you to play this is what we're going to push you to want to be we're going to play you against other teams top line so I was like okay so is that you know Sackick, Fedorov, Eisenman you know all these guys I'm like yeah you're going to play you're going to check them and then you're going to have a lot more opportunities probably to score if you do that well so I was like, you know, you don't trust the, that <laughs> thinking process because I'm like, oh, I just want to go and play offense and have some fun and yeah. wind up the game. And uh, But he's like, you know, trust me, try to trust me, trust Bob Gainey, you know, these guys. So you don't really quite know the payoff that's coming, but I think, you know, you saw Joe Sackick do it. You saw Steve Eiserman do it in Detroit with Bowman, and, and you just saw, you, you know, change your – you add a little bit more to your game. You don't really change it, but you try to – have some impact in some other areas and you know at that point I, I became so you know content with my game and happy with it if I didn't score I felt like I was doing more killing penalties mm -hmm. and getting some face off so there was a lot more to be enjoyable about the game than trying to put some points up having one of the greatest goal scorers of all time in NHL history the nat natural question is obvious goaltending <laughs> <laughs> you got to face all three of these guys which were the one you hated facing the most but always seemed to have your number or uh, in contrast, the one you loved playing against the most. It's hard to say. I didn't see many of them, you know, with, with those guys out east. I didn't say Hank much. You know, I, I wouldn't have liked that one too much. So, um, you know, I liked when they were all in their late 80s, 90s, when you had, you know, Darren Pang and Greg Millen. You're all about this tall. <laughs> they barely reached the crossbar. They're going to love what I tell him this. But I was going to say, Panger's going to be Now they're all 6'5", 220. They're huge. Yeah. They take up net. You don't have anything to shoot at. But they're all great athletes, too. So, um, but, yeah. Deservingly so for them. Tom had a great career, back-to-back -back cups, and Hank's just been phenomenal for the Rangers in that city. So it's been uh, – I'm, I'm very happy for him. Mike, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Yeah. Enjoy the night. Thanks, Gino. Pierre, thank thanks. you.